welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's topic may rub you the wrong way. It may not. I'm not here to create controversy. I just want to answer questions that I get from you guys out there. And anytime I do a video on jerk baits, this is the number one question I get. So I want to reach into that and talk about the Vision 110 jerk bait by Mega Bass and whether it's worth the investment of $25 and if it is truly better than other jerk baits on the market. So before I get into that, I just want to remind you that if you're looking to buy jerk baits, whether it's this one or other brands, head into my description, click the link to therealshot.com. They've got a great selection of jerk baits there. If you decide to buy something, use the discount code Stefan10 to save 10% off your order and it helps the channel out. You get a little better price, so it works out for everybody. All right, guys. So the Mega Bass Vision 110 jerk bait, is it worth the money? Well, I gotta tell you, before I get into it, I'm gonna give you a little background on it. So years ago, this bait really took hold in the Ozark region, which is one of the best jerk bait regions of the country. Clear water, deep, suspending uh, fish around timber. A jerk bait is a killer bait in that part of the country. And it really was kind of a bait that people were keeping on the down low. They didn't want people to know that they were throwing this jerk bait. And it was winning a lot of money in local derbies and big derbies alike. So the reason for that has to do with the quality of the bait. It's a phenomenally well-made bait. It probably at that time was the most consistent bait on the market, meaning they all ran about as equal as they could versus other jerk baits where you had some that were uh, floaters, sinkers, suspenders. Like they just, it seemed like you'd use one, one would work, one wouldn't work, and you just had to kind of weed through the ones that didn't work to find the ones that did work. Well, this bait consistency wise is really, really good. At the same time, it casts extremely well, which at that time was not heard of with jerk baits. A lot of jerk baits, uh, you know, like the early jerk baits, you're looking at like a husky jerk or a rattling rogue, were lighter hollow baits that worked great, but did not cast well, especially in the wind. This bait casts really well. Plus, the paint jobs were above and beyond what other companies were offering. So since then, this bait has really garnered the attention of being the best jerk bait that's ever been made and ever around. And it demands a high dollar, you know, roughly $25 for a new bait, which is almost twice what the other high brand jerk baits cost. So it gets a lot of people asking whether or not this bait is worth the investment. And is it truly that much better than other jerk baits? So my answer to that is guys when it first came out 100 percent yes this was the best jerk bait that was made for the reasons i mentioned before it cast further it always ran true the paint colors were really good it just really outplayed the other jerk baits that were on the market however since then what's happened is a lot of companies have taken the characteristics that made this bait so great and implemented them into their new jerk baits. I mean, we're talking this bait's been around for probably, I'm gonna say like 20 some years, where, you know, at least to the point, it's probably been around a lot longer than that. But I mean, over the last 20 years, jerk baits have come a huge ways. Like they have really upped the game of jerk baits. They suspend properly, you know, they sit differently in the water, the color schemes are great, they cast further than ever before. And most of that is due to this bait. The problem with that for Mega Bass is that other companies have stepped up their game. You know, whether you, I mean, pretty much every other jerk bait that's on the market has some characteristics of this bait in it. You know, the, the body profile is being utilized in a lot of other baits, maybe not to the exact uh, dimensions, but the, the size, the body style, there's a lot of other companies that are offering similar style baits, and that's because it's been found to catch a lot of fish. You know, there's there's great paint schemes in other baits. Other baits now are translucent too. You can get it, you know, other baits in different various diving lips. Most good jerk baits are offered in a 
regular runner and a deep runner. So it's really one of those things where they've just lost that competitive advantage that they've had. So if you were to ask me right now whether I think this bait is truly worth the investment and better than the other jerk baits, I would say that I think it's better than 50% of the jerk baits on the market, but there are a lot of other good jerk baits on the market that catch a ton of fish and perform as well as this bait. So I don't want to sit here and tell you guys that this is the jerk bait you need to throw. I think if you purchase one, you're buying a good jerk bait. You're buying a jerk bait that we know is proven. But at the same time, I will tell you that I've got a box full of other brands of jerk baits that I rely on every bit as much as this jerk bait because I know that they perform as well and catch me a lot of fish. And especially in other circumstances or different scenarios, those brands will perform better than this bait will. You know, there's some really good jerk baits that have been proven over time, and some of them aren't even uh, still made. You know, I, I look at baits like, you know, this is a uh, Excalibur suspending jerk bait. This bait's not even made anymore, but it's a killer jerk bait. The uh, Berkeley Cutter series is one that when I first got, I looked at it and I was like, I'm not sure that this bait's going to perform that well, but it's got all the features of the Mega Bass bait and costs under half the same price. This has become a jerk bait that I absolutely love. And I mean, speaking of Berkeley, they're coming out with the new uh, Stunna jerk bait. It just hit the market the other day. And that thing looks like a killer. I haven't used it yet, so I'm not going to sit here and really talk about it. But I can tell you it's got everything that made this bait popular. Uh, you know, going old school again, still a bait that's made. This is the Rapala X-Wrap. This jerk bait has caught me a ton of fish over the years, and I still utilize this bait in certain scenarios, in certain lakes where I know it works wonders. The Rattlin' Rogue, this is one that's been an old school bait and was an initial competitor of the, the Mega Bass and was around at that time. But there's something about this bait that catches fish. It doesn't cast well still, but it catches fish. I mean, the, the Lucky Craft Pointers have been known to be great. There are so many good jerk baits on the market right now that it's no longer necessary to go purchase the Mega Bass and think that you've got this huge advantage over the competition. At one point, absolutely, you had an advantage if you were using a Mega Bass Vision 110. As of right now, I am not going to sit here and say that you are going to have an advantage by paying twice as much for that bait over other baits that are on the market because most baits whether you know you like it or not have kind of taken all the positives of the mega bass and implemented them into their baits and they're equally as good right now so that's my opinion guys for all of you that have asked me whether or not it's worth spending the money i would tell you this you don't have to spend the money if you do spend the money you're getting a well-proven bait that's been time tested we know catches fish but at the same time, you could buy two or three baits for the same price that might give you the advantage of being able to utilize different jerk baits in different scenarios and therefore cover a little bit more water or different types of water. So, you know, it really is a bait that gets talked about a lot. It's well deserved. That bait has paved the way for jerk baits, but it is no longer head and shoulders above the competition. At this point, I would say it's another tool in the jerk bait arsenal. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope this answers some of your questions. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. I, I, I'm always interested in knowing if you guys, what you guys are thinking and learning from you guys as well. So share it in the comment section. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks that come out on a daily basis.